So today I'm going to be walking you through all the procedures that you need for um, sewing the carry-all bag from Sew Sew Easy. So let's have a look at the materials before we start. We have the main fabric here for the outer body and I'm also going to use a contrasting for straps. Now if you want to you can just sew the whole bag in the main fabric and that'll be fine but I like the, the contrast. So you need the main fabric and the contrasting. You'll also need a lining fabric and then in order to make the bag stiff and stand up on its own you'll need to use your choice of stabilizers. I'm using um, a medium weight interfacing here and I've also got a fusible fleece. You might may have other opportunities or not be able to get these kind of things where you are in which case use whatever your favorite products but if you want the bag to to roll away and be soft then obviously not too much. If you want it to stand up and be stiffer on its own, then you'll need more of these layers of the, the fleece and the interfacing to give it a bit more body. You're also gonna need some zips. You'll need uh, an 18 inch zip to go along the top of the bag. And also there are two optional zippers. If you want to have uh, a zipper pocket on the inside and the outside, you'll need two seven inch zips. There are some rectangle rings. These are one and a quarter inch rectangle rings, only you'll need four of those. And because we're also working a lot with very thick layers, I find these clover wonder clips are a lot better to use than pins. So pins will still be fine, but you may find the, the, one, the wonder clips here are useful. Also, I'm gonna be using a lot of this wonder tape also in place of pins because it's going to help us keep things in place nice and easily without having to pin and make holes in the fabric or uh, little puckers where we get our pins. So the Wonder Tape is optional but highly useful. The first step in assembling the bag is probably going to be the one that will take you the longest amount of time. So you'll need to cut out all of your pattern pieces and then note on each one what the pattern piece is for and whether you need to cut it out of your outer fabric, your contrast or your lining and the same for fleece or interfacing. So cut out all of your fabric pieces, attach your fleece or your um, interfacing wherever you want them and that will probably take you most of the time towards actually sewing the bag. So once you have all of your fabric prepared we'll start to sew. So our first step in the bag construction is this zipper pocket here on the side of the bag. This is an optional step, you don't have to include it, so skip through to the next lesson if you don't want to. But if you do want to, you'll need to start off with your top sections for this pocket, which is this section just here in the contrast fabric. And I've added it so that it lines up exactly with the edge of my zipper. Now I've got a longer zipper because I always find it easier to work with a longer zipper. So for example, the zipper pull is right off the end and out of the way of my stitching. So first of all, we're just going to stitch along with the zipper foot to add the, um, the bag zipper top just here onto the zip. Now I'm going to open this part out and just undo the zip, pull the unused part out of the way, put these two back together and then right sides together I'm just going to stitch back along this line and that will enclose this zipper. So I've also now trimmed this seam really close to the stitching line and now I need to push the zipper tape down inside the tube and I'm going to turn this tube the right side out so that our right sides are on the outside. So it's now turned out the other way and I've pressed it and top stitched just close to the zipper edge. Now it's time to add the pieces for the bottom of the fabric pocket and these are my pieces. I've got an outside and an inner piece. And with the zipper tape facing up, I'm going to put the right side of the fabric lined up with the top of the zipper. And then the right side of the pocket inside is also going to go on the other side to make a little sandwich. I'll pin those in place, just run along with my zipper foot and that will secure that zipper in place. So that's now the zip sewn and if I open out to the right side, now all I need to do is press this and then just add a line of top stitching along here to uh, hold those pieces down in place and then we can set that pocket to one side. 
So now we're just going to make up this pocket that goes on the opposite side of the bag here. This one runs full length. And I've got two pieces again, an outer piece and a contrast piece. You could do it both in the outer fabric. And I'm just going to put the two together, right sides together, stitch along the top just here. So now my two side pocket pieces are sewn. I'm just going to open them out and press and then I'll turn it the right way and top stitch along this top edge. Now you can um, put these two fabrics level but I'm going to turn mine just a little bit so that I can see a little bit of the contrast fabric coming out on the top of the pocket because I think that'll look quite nice and then I'll top stitch it with this uh, contrast sticking out the top like a little bit of um, piping. So now I've brought over the first of my side panels and I'm just going to take this long pocket that I've already stitched. It's got the little bit of contrast along the top there. If I just line up the sides and the bottom and then I'm going to pin that in place and then just within the seam allowance about a quarter of an inch from these sides and the bottom I'm just going to baste this side panel in place and then we can set this aside for use in a further step. So we also now need to place the zipper pocket. If you sew this one, we need to place this on the side. So I've used just a ruler or a tape to find the centre of this bottom panel and the centre of the pocket. And I'm just going to put those two together, lining up the bottom seam. And then if I measure in from each side, I can just make sure that I have my pocket centred. And once I'm happy with where it goes, I can just pop in a few pins and then we just need to baste down these two sides and along the bottom and for the top of the pocket you're just going to neatly top stitch just along this seam just here just inside from the edge of the top and then this pocket will also be stitched in place and that will be the two side pockets completed. So now it's time for us to have a go at these end pockets. There are some end pockets in the bag just here and these are going to be stitched exactly the same as the side pockets. So we have our main end panel and our two pocket pieces They'll go face together, stitch here, turn, top stitch, and then you'll baste the completed pocket in place on the end panel. And once it's completed, it will look like this. Again, I've put my little bit of extra contrast along the top there, so I think that looks quite nice. So complete that until you have both of your end panels done. 